Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me again. We are working today again on our Halloween uh, junk journal. This will probably the, be the last one that I work on. Um, I only have a few pages left and um, it's getting pretty close to Halloween. Today's the 26th. Uh, so I don't know if I'd have another chance to film another one before then. Uh, but I did want to work on a few pages in here and um, maybe the next time I show it might be a flip through of what we did with it. Anyways, I have some stuff that I want to put in here and we can do that today. Oh, excuse me, hiccup. Okay, probably should have done one side first. Yeah, let's do that. I don't like these little glue sticks. Um, well, first of all, they're not permanent. Second of all, they're soft. They're like the scotch, um, the one that comes in the plaid container and I don't like it because it's soft and well this one's not permanent so I don't like this one because of that but I don't like the how soft the glue is because you end up wasting way more than you need to because of how soft it is I'm gonna, oops. I'm gonna do that first half first okay and then this clean cut edge over here And I'm gonna leave it, and if it's wrinkly, it's wrinkly. If it's not, great. And then let's try to peel it back so it's even. Oh, keep it on the paper or on the magazine. I'm gonna use up this glue stick easily in this session. And I hate going through glue sticks so fast. Actually, we're gonna wrinkle, at least don't wrinkle all in one spot. Okay, cool. And where's my, oh, lid. Oh, here it is, over here. I have a little fan over there and it's blowing air and it's blowing everything everywhere. like that there so I am gonna glue that there and actually I think I just thought of something that I can add here for my Kate Curry Halloween pictures that I can stack behind here and actually I think I might look for that first before I glue this spider thingy because I thought I saw that there was some candle kind of oh see like this is exactly what I'm gonna use. See how easy that was? Now I can use it. There's a little residue here, but um, actually pretty easy to ball up. Um, but I can easily peel it up. And I don't care that this isn't exactly the same finish, but I'm gonna do it back here like this. And then even though it does have sticky on here from the double-sided tape, I'm just simply gonna go over it. Just to layer a little bit on there. Yeah, I like that. And we'll put Mr. Spy oh, Spider in the books on here. Carefully not to rip his legs. Haunting Africa, what the heck? I just read the title of the book. We'll do that. And then this is gonna be folded in half, or not quite half, this is. All right, that was the original fold, yep. Yeah. 
I think I'm just going to ink a little bit around this one here. So we'll fold it here. And it'll add a little, little something. Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going with the flow and see what we get. And actually, I think I'm just gonna actually, if I do that over these parts with the creases, the creases, the wrinkles will get darker. Ah, yes, that looks, see, that looks better. It looks grungier. Okay, cool. I still have a lot of these little cutouts. What can I add in here? This and then this and then yes. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, perfect. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use this here. And I'm gonna put the lollipop first and then I tr I'm trying this one because I was I've been using that other the craft um I I'm sorry I forget the name. I think it was um Craft Elmer's Quick Dry, if I'm not mistaken. And the texture I didn't really care for, uh, but I ended up liking it because um, it dried really quick. And actually, now that I kind of look at this one, the texture kind of seems the same and it's almost more creamy. Uh, so um, I thought I'm like, I seen these, they were three for $10 on Amazon. So I was like, you know what, this is Quick Dry. I'm realizing that I do like the quick dry just because it really um, helps with the warping of the paper. I'm gonna do this because I feel like that's too much glue for that. Um, and of course it still warps certain papers, um, but when it's like this um, kind of chipboard or scrapbook paper, it doesn't do it as bad. the brain cupcake although I'm starting to realize this one is but this is really thin this is just a little paper sack um, which I would say that this one right here is thinner than regular copy paper and then obviously I just put a piece of tissue paper on here which is even thinner so maybe combined it's about the size of a or thickness of regular printer paper excuse me thingy I don't think I do, but I kind of wish I had like a candy of some sort that I could float there. Oh, maybe I can put this eek. Yeah, that'll work. Kind of wanted to sit here and film two videos, but um, my back really burns um, from sitting in the same spot, which is at my desk all day and then this morning I was doing some homework and then I've been crafting and then I did my nails so I've been basically leaning over hunched over too much and it always hurts my upper back like right below my neck in between my shoulder blades and my neck uh, so I think I'm just gonna do this one video and then um, call it a night as far as crafting I did want to start on a new um, Daphne's diary journal because I got some magazines in and oh I forgot this one I don't know these yeah these are all different we'll stick you in here um, anyways I wanted to do a new Daphne's diary magazine 
I wanted to film that. Um, but we'll see. I can already feel that my back is hurting, so. Okay. I'm gonna cut this just I have that song um, stuck in my head for some reason. I haven't watched anything that has anything to do with it. But the, the monster mash. Do -do. The monster mash. Do -do -do. Yes. And then what I'm going to do is there's going to be some gap in here. And actually, I thought about something else. We'll wait on you. Put some. Where's the lead to this? Um, but anyways, I have that song stuck in my head. Oh, shoot. Son of a biscuit eater. Well, see, that's why you always pay attention to what you're doing. Yep, I'm gonna have to get another glue stick. as far as I can just because when you fold up magazines to try to put glue underneath it it does damage them and I don't want to damage it if possible oh, perfect and it's time for, to remove one of these I think I just did a few pages but whatever Smash, smash, smash. Oh man, this is gonna be all sticky now. Ugh. Okay, so what I thought was actually, I'm gonna put some up here. Can't read this. I mean, you won't be able to see this spectacular, anyways. And then just kind of blend it in a little bit. And then. I thought that'd be cool, it'd be textured. And then we'll sort of expose the unattached part. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, cool, cool. I like that. The only thing is that, well, it's stuck now. Let's trim a room. Some of this over here. Sometimes when you do things like this, these turn out like to be the best pages. And it's just something that you're, and it, like when you use like literal trash. So, I mean, obviously not the paper sack, but the tissue. Okay. And actually I'm gonna use my big scissors cause I don't wanna cut the, I kinda like this whole uneven thing. Leave it like that. And then I'm pretty sure, actually let's hold the page so we know where it's at. See how cool that looks? I love that. And then I'm just gonna put Halloween here. And this, oh, 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 oh. This one's just gonna be as simple as this. Actually, maybe I should put something here, maybe a little. Oh, actually him. Him, 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 him. Yeah, we'll layer 
it up there. Okay. Well, oh shoot. And I'm not being too careful about where I stick this and just, or not stick this, like how much I'm spreading on here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And actually we'll do it this way like this. <laughs> and he's gonna go in here. Oh shit, no, 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 no. Oh, I love these, I love the Kate Curry books. See how cute? Okay, cool, 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 cool. And I thought maybe we could use one of these for this. And then I think what I'm gonna do is use one of these purple ones just because I, I specifically printed this to add more stuff in here. Just because these are so, um, I have so much or not enough purple and I wanted to add, incorporate more purple into these. So actually I'm gonna cut this size it right come on cooperate please I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because I'm not gonna cut it right to the size I have that little piece over there so what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna center it so that it's a little sort of eyeballing this honestly. Let's cut here and then because we keep all scraps. Oh shoot. I guess I'm cutting a tiny bit more than what I meant to. And then I'm gonna round these corners. And we will glue stick him. And I can guarantee by the time I'm done with this page that I'm out of glue stick. <laughs> or if I have enough, it'll be enough to glue a few little things, but I feel like this is gonna finish up this glue stick. And that is why I don't like the little ones and the soft ones. Because you go to them very often. And then see, the thing about glue stick too is that it starts to dry. And so you have to apply very generously. Okay. So that it sticks. <sighs> okay, 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 that's good. That's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Okay. I always turn it on both sides just to make sure I get it. And time to fold it. And then what can I use? And actually I think I'm gonna do a simple as trick or, trick or treat on this one. And I'm just gonna staple it, honestly. Actually. A little X so that it sticks and it doesn't wiggle. And we're gonna leave that plain and simple, like just like that. And then I'm gonna do this. And this. And then this one's gonna be something simple like that. Now, the monster mesh. Is that too silly? 
I want to replace that one with that one. I, I'm going to do it. After all, sometimes when you're doing stuff, you kind of really second guess yourself. Like, do I want to put it there? I've done, I've said this, I think, before. Um, how we want to do things certain ways and kind of second guess it. I'm like, why am I second guessing it? It's mine. I can do whatever I want with it. Stop being dumb about it. Okay, let me try to. We're going to do this one too. And I'm going to layer. Actually, I'm going to use glue stick for this one. And we're going to put him here. And then what do I want to put down there? The little witch. Let's do it. Okay, that is way too much glue. And what I'm going to do is kind of wiggle it around a little bit. It'll spread out the glue. There we go. What I like about this is that sometimes you'll do the simplest pages and they'll turn out cute. Anyways, I'm gonna do a little. Okay. You know what would be nice? If anybody even watches this if you guys could give me names of people who you really enjoy watching um, do whatever kind of journaling or art journal or whatever it is that you're maybe into um, I have a few that I love um, watching and I would love to see who you guys would recommend just because you know it's always nice to add a few more people um, if it helps I like people who talk I don't like particularly care for the, a lot for the ones where they just put music just because I like watching it in the background and then or while I craft and um, there's no point if I can't hear them talking personally that's just my my jam um, <laughs> yes and I can put a little something in here um, anybody you would recommend that you like uh, and so again somebody who talks um, I love, who have I been watching? Um, I love Natasha from Treasure Books. I love, um, I think it's like 49 Dragonflies. What is her name? She's from Vienna. Um, but anyways, I think her channel is 49 Dragonflies. I love, um, she's always doing videos with another lady. She's from, I think she's German. Uh, Louisa, I love her videos too. Uh, love Nicole from Relax Cat Glue. I've been really watching um, Junie, I think her, she goes by JD. Uh, she does more of a journaling style where you write in books. Um, and I, honestly, those are the ones that I've watched the most. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is use a piece of this guy and I'm just literally going to tear in here. I feel like this isn't enough though. I need something else. What if I do something like this in the background? Since they have the sticky. Does that look stupid? I'm not sure, but I'm going to do it. Sometimes you just got to take the plunge and go with the flow. I don't know what the heck I'm saying. <laughs> but anyways. 
Oh shoot. Make some decisions. Make it happen. I'm sure there's somebody on there. Shut up already. And then let's stick you on here as well. And then I think I might just leave it like this for now. Kind of like that. I love this. Okay. We'll find a spot for you. Don't worry, guy. Where did I pull this out from? I'm going to pay more attention where I'm pulling things from. Start putting things together and you're adding layers of things. It's hard because you push one thing and another comes out. Okay, where's this? There we go. Then I thought I have, oh yeah. Actually, I have some little houses that are kind of bigger. Maybe I can use one of these like this one, but I feel like this one's not Halloween enough. Maybe this one. How big is this one? Yep, actually. I kind of like this one, actually. I think I'm going to use that one. Okay, let's stuff with that one and we'll stick this one on here. And go from there. A little house. Oh, I really hope I can finish this today. And actually, I was thinking we'll see how long this video is because I feel like by the time I end up doing all this, I'm basically going to have given you a flip through. So then it seems stupid to just do a flip through video of it if I've kind of shown you everything I've done right now as I was looking for. Yep. Actually, I'm going to do this one here because of the blue. Perfect. I have another one of those, but what I'm going to do first is that I'm going to scoop out all this glue out because I'm not going to just leave it there. Every time I run out of glue sticks or I'm getting towards the bottom of one, I do this. It's just that I feel like there's so much glue at the bottom of those and you're just literally wasting it if you don't. And clearly this is too much glue <laughs> for for this image, but I feel like rather waste it on this one and over glue it. Then throw it away completely, you know? So that's uh, part of the reason why I don't get the little ones. Um, the only reason I ever get little ones is if it's on sale somewhere and you know, that was really cheap. And then some of these school glue ones I've had for a while um, before I've discovered that you really do prefer a certain kind over another. Oh, that would have been good right there. Okay, and actually there's another little house that I'd like from my book. And actually might fit good right here because of the purples. And yep. That's what we'll do. Oh, this Chanel thing is cute. Whatever it is. Like the colors. Okay. Now where's the other glue stick so I can scoop its brains out too? Let's see this one and this. Oh yeah, right side. I saw the, the pumpkin and I'm like, no, I messed up. Um... And see, this one's not as soft, so as I'm spreading it out, it's going on as a normal one, whereas the other one, I was scraping it completely. I mean, obviously, now that I'm kind of doing it over, I'm starting to smash it, but there's still a lot of glue on there that I didn't. Okay, I didn't mean to do this. 
It's my journal. I'm covering it up. I don't care. Because I was like, I should have done it over this one. And <laughs> just kidding. It's okay. Because I, ironically, I thought I'm like, I should have put that there. But I had already stuck it and I didn't want to waste it. Which we did anyway. So, oh well. I'm like, why is it telling me goal? Oh, achieved. We went to go play a little basketball before hubby went to work. And I was like, why is it notifying me barely right now that we did that? But it's not. <laughs> we go to the park. Um, we usually go to Lifetime. And um, they're fixing the courts at the gym where we go. So we suspended our account in the meantime because really that is the point of us signing up at a gym membership because here in Columbus it's um it's you know during the winter months it's really hard to go play when it's snowing especially so um and then we weren't just gonna be paying if we're not gonna go we're not play basketball when we could do other stuff they don't have workout equipment at home so it seemed unnecessary since it's kind of yellow themed, maybe we can put a little piece of this one. And I'm just gonna... And then maybe we can put an image there, but it adds a little more... You know, a little something, more contrast or interest, I mean. Okay, let's... battle to this piece of glue. that is oh i forgot i forgot about all these oh i still have oh i gotta pull these out so i can send them before halloween's over i'll send these out this week um actually let's use this october oh this boo this ticket this trick-or-treat I have those envelopes and then so I know they're gonna be a little too big so I'm gonna trim a little bit on the bottom and on the top and then we can stick them in the pockets yes they'll be hiding hiding but it's okay I'll cut a little bit off both sides and that just makes sure that will fit yep and what I'm gonna do is we'll use one with this print do one with this print and then we're gonna fold these and actually recut them ow this pinched me and then the staple we need anymore because without the hat it kind of doesn't oh perfect okay We'll do this one based on the color and actually i didn't even have to cut it because this is the one that was actually the envelope whatever and actually i'm gonna do it like this so that i can staple it on this side and cut it just trim it so let's not cut my ribbon there we'll put 
her here. Just like that. If I can stick it in there. Yep, and then she can come out of there. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Things off the oh, here we go. Never mind, because it doesn't fit any of these pictures standing up. Oh, maybe the crow, maybe the crow, maybe the crow, maybe the crow. Excellent. And then actually, there was a little piece of leftover purple. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know about you guys, but I love it when things start to like sort of work. Oh, 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 oh. And I'm gonna just round the bottom of this. Anyways, when things start to to work. And then it just feels um satisfying. That's all I was getting to. Okay. Come on, open up. Open sesame. We'll put this here. Another one of my favorite things. The stapler. Well, whatever. If it's cricket, it's cricket. Hey, <laughs> yes. What if I put this here? What if I fussy cut around it a little bit? And then. We ink around it because who doesn't like, or in my case, love a little ink around everything. And then actually, I'm just gonna do it to where it's not glued. Sometimes I like when it's like glued all the way to the edge and sometimes I like the effect that a little liftage does. See, that looks better. And I'll leave this at empty. Yes, this one, okay. Anything with a little more green. When I printed these out, I printed them like more vibrant, like the option to do it more vibrantly and look at the difference well this one i think is part of one of the ones that i did well too but there's a few in here that i didn't pay attention to the quality and you can really see a difference in these okay yes 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 oh i actually might finish today oh I knew these witches. I thought I saw a witch. Yes. Now, how can I layer her in here? With a little something. Let me see my papers. Um, I do want the word witch to be visible. So, maybe like this, then I feel like there's too much of this paper wasted, which means maybe I could put a little piece, a sliver over here. Yep, that's what I'll do. Excuse me, excuse me, everybody. So... We'll smear it. And worse off. Here we go. I was going to say, where's that glue stick that still has a lot of glue? And honestly, truth be told, if I wasn't filming, I'd be more careful about how I use this nubbin. Because I would make it last, <laughs> last longer. Okay. And then, where, how did I say this one like this? 
Oh crap. Well, let's leave it as it is. If not, I'm gonna keep tearing more and more and more. bottom and I thought I saw oh yes an October thingy and I'm just gonna staple this here actually why am I trying to do it backwards Jesus Like this and then just as a oh 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 a little more than I meant to yes sometimes when we do art or journals and I find that it's just more art um I consider those to be like art journals just because it's more artistic. You just, um, just doing it because you enjoy like the image. What's in the back of this? I don't know what the hell, so I don't want to staple on the back of that. I'll do this diagonally. Diagon Ellie. Oh, now that made me want to watch Harry Potter, even though nobody was talking about Harry Potter. Did I even do this right? Before I smash it on and mess up everything. No glue exposure, nope. Would this work better back here? Kind of just as sort of collaging it and then putting something on top. I think I might just because of the purple, I mean the, um, orange over here. Okay, let's glue stick some of this here. And then it'll just give it some kind of character there yes i like it like i said sometimes when you do stuff um the cutest stuff comes out um out of the junk honestly probably how the junk journal part came out i don't know who thought it'd be a good idea let me put all my trash together to make a junk journal and then somebody else thought I'm like no I don't like that I'm gonna start actually buying stuff for it and then ended up with all these all this stuff that's bought instead of made I mean, a little more glue there. and then people started making printables and all this other crap and I started a whole genre of or not genre area of things let me add one of these guys um how about the cat with the cat 
There's another cat. Oh, you know what? Why am I struggling here? I have a book full of key cats. Or not full, but I know that there's a whole section here. Excuse me. Wait, it has to be back. Further back. Okay, no. Oh, here we go. Maybe this one. Let's see. Him, because he looks angry. And then we can still have these. I think I'm going to do it only because... Well, first off, I do want this here. Because you can't put something all perf... What is it? Perfect without the kitty cat. But then it just doesn't make sense. And then... I do want to use these two, but I feel like this one, he's taking himself way too serious, so we got to add this quirky one to make it more quirky. Come on, glue stick. Yeah, no, I'm definitely not going to do the other one today. The other video, I mean. Let's put him here. Oops. And then these we can just simply layer at the bottom. That way it's a kitty cat party. Kinda wish this one made more sense to hang him upside down. Does it? Does it look stupid? I'm just gonna do it because I had this whole idea that I wanted to hang him upside down. And actually, I'm gonna do it right here and cut off a little bit off. I kept trying to see if I could make it work somehow. Hanging upside down, so. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. And we'll do one of these. Actually, this one back here back here yep and what we're gonna do is just like this and we're gonna staple it I'm sure that's good enough I actually don't like how this ended up looking but this train but it is what it is Maybe, just maybe, I'll use this one just to kind of keep it going. Excuse me, guys. It's still here. I don't know if you guys watch any kind of anime or anything um but um my hubby is very much into anime and i'm not even sure i don't think this is technically anime but whatever i can't really tell the difference i don't know what's what but um we watched um the last avatar the last airbender maybe is that the name of the show um, it's the cartoon one, and I can't remember. I think it's on Netflix. Anyways, with the one with the little bald kid. And he always goes, yep, yep. So every time I hear yep, yep, I think of him. <laughs> yes. And for a second, I was going to say my printer didn't print out right, but these are the Kate Curry books. So, never mind. There's nothing wrong with my printer. I don't have to blame her for that. Okay. 
that glue stick is finally taking its final breath. Gosh, man. And let's see, like, I'm applying a lot of pressure right now, and I'm not. like wasting so much of it i feel like the only time i really waste glue stick on these is when i accidentally go over a corner too hard and it goes underneath and then i end up like scooping out a chunk oh yeah this is gonna work <laughs> And I like, actually, I kind of like how it's all muted, except for this is a little darker, but that's fine. That's fine. Yes, yeah, so he can be scary there. Yeah, he can be prestigious here. And then find one more thing for that other page. And I know I said I wasn't going to journal, but I think I'm going to journal on one of the pages where it lifts up. And maybe just about how, just a little quick something about how I did this. Now, where was that one page? This one. Let's look through here and find something. What about her? Is she big enough? Her actually, I know what I'm gonna do, and then that way I can bring a little more purple into this title. And we'll go ahead and center her a little bit. Mr. Little Guillotine, what if this is not even called a guillotine, and that's what I've been calling it this whole time? be the first oh that's a little more the first or the last time that i get something wrong and i call it something else and actually i'm just gonna use whatever's left on here which apparently is quite a bit a lot of times when i do these things i want to put more words but i don't have halloween words a lot of them maybe i can find a printable and then just come back and add halloween words I am going to look for a free, not a free, printable on Etsy for Halloween words that I can sort of put throughout the book. And then I'll do that off camera and then come back and kind of do like a flip through. So anyways, thank you so much for, oh, dirty nail. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys like this. I know this is long, um, but uh, I do appreciate you guys sticking around. Thanks so much. You guys have a good night. Love you. Bye.